Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add a gallery to your website with the included add-on from ThemeCo called Enviro Gallery. So once you've installed uh, the X or Pro theme and you've activated your license underneath of the Overview tab, you're going to be able to see all of your extensions here. Scroll down until you see the Enviro Gallery one and click Install. Once you've installed, click on the Go Activate button. And go ahead and slide down to where it says Enviro Gallery, and we're going to go ahead and activate this. Now, once this is activated, it's going to add a new menu on the bottom left hand side called Enviro Gallery. And you can go ahead and navigate to the Settings section. Right here, you do not need to enter an Enviro license key because this comes bundled with ThemeCo. Right now, you can actually leave all of these settings the same for right now. And if you go to the standalone one, you can go ahead and check off the enable standalone button. You can change these if you wish. I recommend to do this before you upload or make any uh, galleries or anything like that. Once you're done this, go ahead and hit save. And we're going to go ahead and add a new gallery. From there, let's go ahead and name our gallery. Let's go ahead and name it Drone Images. We have a couple of different options, Native Gallery and External Gallery. Right now, we don't have any add-ons for the External Gallery. If you purchase Enviro Gallery, then you're able to go ahead and add add-ons for things such as Lightbox, Instagram, there's a whole list of them. So let's go ahead and stay on Native Gallery. Select computers from your computer, so select files from your computer, or from other sources. Let's go ahead and select them from our computer. And I'm going to navigate to where I've got a couple of images. Right here. And I want to go ahead and use all of these. You're also able to click and drag them right here into this gray dotted box. But right now, I just wanted to go ahead and select them from the computer. So right now, it's going ahead and uploading them to the site. You can see them at, up here, down below in the Currently in Your Gallery section. This gray progress bar lets you know how many are uploaded, and it also tells you right down here how many are uploaded as well. So we've got one more to go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have all of our images here. Let's go ahead and configure our gallery underneath of the configuration settings. So the number of gallery columns is how many images you want going across your screen. If you choose automatic, it's going to go ahead and fill each row as much as possible before they move to the next row. I like to keep this at maybe like four or five. Lazy loading does help with performance. It only loads what's visible on the screen. So if they're on mobile or if they're uh, on a smaller laptop screen, it's only going to load what the screen can see. As they scroll down, the pictures will then load. Let's go ahead and check with the gallery description. If you have a description for the gallery, you can go ahead and display it above it or below it or not at all. Um, you can keep these at the same settings that they are. And they enable the title caption below image, which I don't want either one of those. You can sort them however you want. Keep the image size default. And you can actually set the different dimensions here. I normally just like to leave all of this the way it is because these settings are perfect right out of the box. For the gallery theme, you can go ahead and choose different ones if you have different themes set up. I don't. And this is the gutter width. So basically, this is how much white space is between each image. In between each one going left and right so 10 is about normal and the margin below each image if you want to keep it symmetrical looking i would recommend keeping both of these numbers the same so let's go ahead and go back up to light box configuration and basically all of these settings can be stayed can be kept the same if you want to change it from light to legacy you can do that as well for the theme but basically all of these settings can stay the same. 
The one that I would recommend changing if you want is the thumbnails below the light box. So when it has a light box here and the thumbnails are down here, you can turn those on and off with this checkbox. For mobile, let's go ahead and it's going to automatically create mobile friendly, not mobile friendly, but mobile sized images. And it's going to go ahead and keep you, um, keep your light box enabled. Um, and basically everything here can also be kept the same as well. Standalone just means that it's a standalone gallery that they can open up in a new tab. This is mainly for albums, which you have to purchase the add on for that. And miscellaneous is if you want to add a gallery title, um, different slugs or different classes, or if you want to export it or import it from another website. Now that we have all of our settings configured, let's go ahead and hit published over here on the right. Once this is published, let's add it to a new page. So let's go ahead and add a new page here. And let's go ahead and make this published. Now, once this is published, you can either use the short code over here to put it into your website or you can go ahead and edit the website with Pro or, or X right here and click the button and it's gonna open it up in the Cornerstone Editor. Now once the Cornerstone Editor loads, they have an option for Envira Gallery. If you navigate to your Elements section and type in Envira, you can click and drag this right into your section. You can pick your different galleries over here if you have more than one, but right now I only have one. It's not going to show a preview. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit save. Open this up in a new tab. And you'll be able to see your gallery once everything loads on the actual website. So there we go. We have our gallery here. And when we click on it, we have our light box with our different images at the bottom that we can see. And in order, in order to get out of it, you just close it with the top right X right there. So you have a simple gallery right here that's very easy to make. It's easy for your clients to change or add to. If you want to purchase the full plugin, go to envirogallery.com. And you can go ahead and see their demo, get pricing. Um, I currently have their ultimate package, which includes all of their add-ons that they can show you right here. It shows you all of the add-ons that they have. You get access to all the new ones that they um, create. And it's just really nice because it's on unlimited sites. It's a one-time fee. So if you are doing a lot of galleries, I would definitely recommend buying the full license for this. Um, if you're just doing a couple of galleries here and there, then the one that Themeco includes is also great. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next video.